Hello everyone. No one's here yet. So um, <laughs> I just thought that since uh, Brian's away on vacation that I might um, decide to do a live on the Embrilliance page. My name is Lisa Shaw and you may recognize my voice from many of the uh, YouTube videos. And I thought, you know, this would be a perfect time for me to uh, jump in and do a live. Oh, Celeste, I see that you've popped in. Thanks for checking in with me. We'll give it a few minutes because um, in the past when I've done lives, people join in um, slowly and check in and say um, where they're from. It's great to see you. Ah, great from Canada. Fantastic. Fantastic. I This is just was very impromptu live i figured well why not go for it and i thought since i had done um we're working with circular text yesterday um that this is one example of circular text and we'll talk about a couple other ones but there's so much power available in the embrilliance essentials software with the lettering tool the things that you can do besides multi-line text single line text and of course circular text so i thought i'd spend some time today and we'd talk about circular text sally lynn's checking in from arizona i bet it's hot where you are it's nice and i think it was 70 degrees in colorado today and we have susan from southern Salic uh southern california and wales oh michelle from colorado again two days in a row i know <laughs> And Sandy from Waco and Paula from South Florida and Anne in Hotlanta. <laughs> That's one of my favorite sayings. I, it's very humid in, in Atlanta, but I love that saying. I have a t-shirt from uh, when I visited that said Hotlanta. A great, a great play on words there. And those of you that know me, like I know I bet I like a play on words. So um, now that we have some people checking in, and we're going to be talking about circular text. This is a free design that's available on the Embrilliance project blog. So if you go to embrilliance.com and click on projects in the left, you'll find many, many projects. We give you the designs and step-by-step -step instructions, link to videos, um, all sorts of uh, fun information. And it's done on a monthly basis. So you can scroll back through the past year and get lots of information. So this is an example of circular text. And then we also have, I did my uh, birth stats for my granddaughter. And this is circular text done with BX fonts. So we will be exploring some of those options. So let me switch over to show you the software so you don't have to look at me. And we'll get playing in it. So let me go and see if we can get this switched. Ah, there we are. Whoops, not that one. Here we go. Ha! There's my software open. Those of you that are that go to the project blog, you'll notice that this is the free sample design that was one of them available for this month. And it's a red work design. And I've added circular text lettering around the sides of it. Now, the way that circular, the way that lettering works, let me go and click on the, let's open a brand new design page here. And I'm just going to click on the lettering tool. When you look at your lettering properties pane, you have multi-line text, which allows you to do like poems, or if you are doing something like the wedding hankies are very pop popular, where you put all the information in a corner and uh, stitch it out that way. The multi-line text, that's a great way to create that because it allows you to hit the carriage return. When you click on multi-line text, you'll see you have a larger text box. And every time you hit the carriage return or the enter key on your keyboard. I'm old school, learned on a typewriter, carriage return. When you hit enter, it puts a new line. So your multiple lines of text are not placed on your design page until you actually click the set button. So this is how you do multi-line text. The second option here is singular line text. And this is where you have all the quick styles and create, create monograms and do vertical text and the pinch and the bloat for softballs and all that fun artistic text. Lots of videos on the Embrilliance YouTube channel. So if you go to youtube.com forward slash Embrilliance, and I'll post a link uh, later on after the video is done to our channel, there's a playlist that is called All About Lettering and Embrilliance. Essentials, because this is all part of the Essentials package. Singular line text. Wicked cool stuff that you can do with that. 
The third option, that's what we're going to be talking about today. This is circular text. So whatever you type here. So for this example, I had typed in the perfect pet. And it ooh, was P-U-R-R. -R. That was a play on words. P-U-R-R-F-E-C-T. Perfect pet. When you hit the enter key, your text is automatically displayed in your display pane. So there's no need to hit set. It's the enter key is your set key. The on multi-line text, the set button, because you can type multiple lines of text, but in singular or circular text, it's just the enter key and that automatically sets it. Now with circular text, you have your option of choosing the font that you want. We'll just keep with the block font to keep things simple here for a second. Your radius, your radius of a circle. Remember geometry from way back when? That shows, that is um, adjusted by this slider bar and that changes the curve of your circle that you're working with. So as I move it closer to the left, you will notice that your text arches to the left or arches more in a circular function. If you move the radius further away, it goes in, it heads more towards a straight line, okay? So when you have something that's on a circle like this, the way that you can get it to move in a particular location is by using the adjusters on each one of the letters. Now, the way that they work, if I, if you notice, when I went back to this first one, the whole text is rotated around the circle. You can create that by clicking on your first letter, grabbing the lower triangle, and you want to make sure your mouse cursor is on that lower triangle, holding it and dragging it, and look, it goes all the way around the circle. So you can place this wherever it is that you want to place it. It grabs that first letter and moves it, everything beyond it, with along with it to make that circular text. I'm fighting for words here. <laughs> but I hopefully you understand what I'm saying when I when I show this. That lower triangle is quite powerful. If you move the lower triangle of a different letter, like say the capital P of perfect, I grab its lower triangle, it grabs that letter and the rest of it. So you're able to create spacing. Now that is kind of fun when you're trying to, say, put arch text around something in the middle, like this teddy bear design, and I have circular text that says, tell me, space, a story. That lower triangle allows you to adjust the letter. So this is one object that I grabbed the lower triangle of the A so that it would move and place it properly where I want it along that circle so it becomes a cohesive design. This is fabulous for when you want to do logo creation or if you want to create something that's fun like this, adding art text as opposed to just plop singular straight line text around something. Hopefully that's making sense. Did you remember I happened when I showed my birth stat? Same, same difference. The idea behind that is the planning let me open that design so you can actually see it and that was camille because camille is my granddaughter she was born last year and these were her birth stats if you notice in my object pane here at the top the first object is my three-letter monogram the second object is a single long 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 line of circular text i selected circular text typed in all of her birth stats and adjusted the radius. And then I moved each individual spot, each individual um, bit of information, her name, her date of birth, her the year, the time born, everything, moved the space so that I could place individual designs and rotate them and place them around the circle. So this was all done simply by typing and then moving the slider bars to adjust your circle into an arc, and then inserting little designs in between those spaces. Now it does require some finagling, and finagling means adjusting and moving things around because your spaces need to be um, appropriate, meaning you everyone's name is different. There's not gonna be a template that 
will work for this simply because based upon the font you choose, the letters, the numbers, the information that's there, it's always going to be different. You, there's never going to be a, a set space. So you may have to adjust your circle and move your spaces around as you see fit. But it's super duper easy. If you can type and you can move sliders and, and, and mouse cursor movement, you can do this. This is fun. This is easy. Let me close these, these guys up so I don't have these extra windows here. Now, another question that we get about circular text, I'm not going to save this, is this is like a patch. And I have circular text going around the top and then also around the bottom. And that is done. If you look in my, whoops, let me get rid of this extra design here. He doesn't need to be there. In my object pane here, I have the first object, which is my circle, which is my patch that's going to be stitched. And it's a, an applique, so it has the running stitch placement, and then it does the uh, tackle twill tack down on top of it. The second, that's going to be, um, second thing that's going to be, uh, stitched is the balloon that's on top. And then I have two lettering objects. The first one has the text going in one direction and the second one has the text going in the other direction. Now let's open up a new design page and just create this really quickly so you can see how easy it is to create this. So let me bring in my cir the circle design just so that I have a patch to work with. So I'm going to hit the copy button Go to new design page and hit the paste. That just gives us a reference of what we're working on. I'm going to click on the lettering tool. Go to the letters properties. Make sure I'm in circular text. And for this font, I had used Big D, which is one of the um, built-in fonts. Uh, one of the Brilliance fonts, I should say. And the name that I had was E... S and it was all capitals. C A P E the ordinary and hit the enter key and it places it on there. Now, when the reason I chose to use one of the built-in or native fonts to in Brilliance is because you see how large this is. The software, because these are built-in font, it allows me to recalculate and adjust the stitches and move this, create this circle so that. I'm doing some pretty major adjusting to the, the lettering here in order to create this design. Now, I'm going to kind of get it towards this circle because, as you can see, my spacing between the letters is just a little wonky. So to fix that, I use my little spacing slider here to make the letters just a little bit closer together. And I will tell you that my mouse is super sensitive because we're doing live broadcast. So I'm not able to have the control because the lag, it's all, all these computers use up from requirements, you know, system requirements. So my uh, display may look a little choppy, not perfect. And that was my word space, my, just my spacing. And now I'm going to adjust my word spacing to make those words just a little bit closer together. Now, uh, let me a little bit more space. You know, not those space. Grab the wrong one. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. That's a little better. Now, I would need to play and fiddle, finagle, with my radius just a bit so that I can get it to fit inside that circle. Uh, and as I said, the sensitivity and... Ooh, ooh. <laughs> that's actually pretty darn good. Um, I'm noticing how it's how it's fitting um, right inside that circle. Jacqueline asks, is this program is Mac compatible? Well, if you look at my screen, you should be able to see that I am running this. Oh, maybe you can't tell. I am running this on a Mac right here. Let me go to my brilliance menu here at the top. Can you see there's a little apple there? I'm running it on a Mac. So it is 100% Mac compatible, no extra... Um, you don't need any emulators. We have both Mac and Windows versions. And this pretty much works the exact same, except that the Apple has the little Apple in the corner and the Windows doesn't. So it, it it's just a little bit different. Um, that's why I love the Embrilliant software. And you don't have to pay extra for that. If you, can, if you have a Mac and a Windows computer, you are allowed to install it on both. But I digress. and I don't want to lose track of what I'm doing here. So... I have my Escape the Ordinaries on the top. I need to create it the same one. Escape, I want to do the exact circle. 
but put it on the bottom. So while I have this selected, I'm going to go to copy and paste and see it in my object pane how it has two lettering objects here. I'm going to choose the option that says place on the bottom, which puts it around the bottom. And then when I have escaped the ordinary, I type in E L B E R T comma space C O L O R A D O for Albert Colorado, hit the enter key and I'm going to move it down. And as you notice here where it says my, because we're putting the lettering on the bottom of the circle, the top, the letters are closer together. So they look kind of smooshed and that will always happen when you go to the top and you flip it over and do the bottom. It, that's, that's just physics. So what we need to do here is just adjust our spacing, maybe put it back to the way that it was or closer together. And then we may need to move it up just a little bit so that it fits properly. And there we have our circular text going uh, on the top and on the bottom. Fabulous. So um, I, I hope it wasn't that cool. <laughs> I mean, you, this is all done with one lettering tool. And that's what the fabulous thing I think about when I think about it in the Brilliance Essential software is if you want to add lettering to a design, doesn't matter what kind of lettering you want to type with lettering type keyboard font. You use the big letter A here at the top. When you, as soon as you click on the lettering tool, your font pops in the middle and you have choices of doing either multi-line text, single line text, or circular text. One tool does all sorts of lettering. And that's about all I have for you guys today. I told you this was going to be a real quick and fast uh, live video. I did want to remind you that in Brilliance is still having a sale going on. If you're catching this on a relatively soon in the year of 2019 in July, this is going to be archived. So any from um, bleh. at this time and Brilliance is having a sale and it's the um, Independence Day sale and their code is IND. 2019. So if you happen to be an express person and you think, oh my gosh, I want to have all these tools and resizing and doing fun stuff. Um, this is a perfect time to add in Brilliance Essentials into your software arsenal. If you have one of the other programs, the co coupon code is good for those as well. So again, it's IND. So like is an independence day. So IND 2019. And hopefully you guys found that exciting, interesting. I saw someone post on, can't get any simpler than that. You're absolutely right. That was easy. I created all sorts of single um, circular text in less than 15 minutes. Just think, oh, if you can type, you can swirl. Hoo -hoo. So anyway, um, I'm off for now and I will check in with you guys later. Make sure you bookmark the Imbrilliance YouTube channel. That's the youtube.com slash Imbrilliance. Bookmark it. I'm going to be posting this video once it's finished live to one of those locations on the Imbrilliance YouTube channel. And of course, it'll be available here on our Imbrilliance Facebook page. Thanks for taking some time to watch me today. Have a great afternoon.